And welcome to the newest episode of the Tyrone Miller Show, live from Trentonian, Trentonian TV. We live in the building. We have a huge guest this week. I usually don't delve into sports. We had Jermaine Kylie Rohn, state champ. Shout out to him. But this week, we're going to go even deeper. We're going to bring in a classic in quarterbacking in the NFL. This man, Wade Wilson. That's all I'm going to say. Check the clip. He was about two inches away from making it to the Super Bowl. Here's the clip. Wade Wilson live in action, man. Fourth and four from the, what was that, about seven-yard line. Up, oh, Wade, up, oh, he go drops back. Catch, oh, close, but no cigar. Is that Daryl Green? Daryl Green made the play. Wade Wilson, I don't know. I'm sorry. But let's just go with, we have Wade Wilson here today. And that's one of the most important things that I'm going to talk about today. Wade Wilson. So Wade Wilson, step on in, brother. Step on in. Probably not who they were expecting. Somehow I feel. Hold on now. What happened here, man? <laughs> hold, hold on a minute. Now, your name's Wade Wilson? My name's Wade Wilson. Did you play quarterback for the Vikings in 86? No, I didn't. Oh. Well, well tell the people who you are and what you do, man. I, I, we still have Wade Wilson, but it's not the Wade Wilson we thought. Blame Joey, the producer. We sorry, y'all. We, but we still got Wade Wilson. Explain yourself, yeah, brother. Uh, well, my name is Wade Wilson. Uh, a couple different things. One is that uh, I took my name from partially a guy that I knew growing up, Wade, who I looked up to. And, uh, well, that is also partially my name. And uh, I'm a big fan of comic books. I love, right. uh, and as a particular guy uh, that I identify with his whole story, he's Wade Wilson. And, I took there and put my own spin on things and been uh, running with it since. So, tell the people what you do. I'm a rapper. Yeah, a rapper. Yeah. Now, I got to say this, Wade. I'm, we just going to have a no holes barred interview. You're the first rapper I've ever seen with black nail polish, man. Explain well, the black nail polish to the people. Well, uh, I mean, I'm not just a rapper. I'm also, uh, I mean, well, not just a rapper in a general sense. I'm not right. just a rapper. Right. But um, I'm also heavily into punk rock and other types of rock music. Nice. And uh, I'm into all different kinds of things. And, and people that are real into music, they can catch it. Like, I have an aunt that she, t they, uh, I would think that she wouldn't even like my look. Right. But then one day she was like, I know what you're doing. I listened to George Clinton in the 70s. Yeah. The Parliament Punk. Right, right, right. She's right. like. You know, it's nothing new for people that are music to express themselves in a lot of different ways. That's right. I mean, I do catch flack for it. You know, right, man. You know, I flack mean, it's, is good, man. Sometimes you, know, you got to catch flack because that let people know you on your own vibe, man. You don't care what other people think and you just staying in your lane doing you. I mean, yeah. I mean, if it was, I don't think that, that much about it. I mean, I know I catch flack, but uh, I've come to the point now that it's like, um, you know, it's either kind of come to expect it or... It's kind of like I would change, you right. know, if it if it really bothered me that much, there are there are things that I could do to change. But I'm like, yo, this is me. And I mean, like the different people that I look up to, like uh, What's uh, some of the people you do look up to, like um, big person. I always like this uh, Kurt Cobain. Right. And Nirvana. Uh, yeah. Smells like Teen Spirit. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I name dropped them a lot. I mean, I like. Uh, so many different genres of music, but I mean, in hip hop, or like, of course, like what people always go to is Biggie Pop. Biggie Pop. I love them. But I also like, you know, even stuff that's beyond my era, going back, learning about like KRS One, uh, even the old, old school, like Sugar Hill Gang people like that. I learned about them, like, right. all the way up to like, uh, like some of my favorite stuff was EPMD. Right. Like, yeah. Hey, yeah. Stuff, like, you got to chill. And, that's yeah. classic hip hop. And of course, you know, I'm a Jersey kid, so Redman yeah. is like Redman's a class. He's a legend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're from Jersey and you don't like Redman, something wrong. So <laughs> let's get on. I got another thing I want to pick with you about. Show the people your socks, man. Ah. Uh, Show socks. the people your socks. Like that, that that's a good thing. Look, look, look at this right here, man. This is a hip hop artist. Cookie Monster Socks? Yeah, man. Cookie Monster. Explain the Cookie Monster Socks, brother. Well, I mean, it's not just about necessarily cooking monster socks. Something that came up one day was um, 
But one thing is uh, I played some soccer growing up. So right. that's one place that we're in. And I played basketball, too. So right. it's kind of two sports that you play around with socks a lot. I did play. So that was one place that it, it started with. You grew an affinity for socks. Yeah. So I got a thing for socks. And then one day I came out of the house and I had some kind of socks. And, they, and I had actually got paint on them from one of the artistic things I do. Somebody saw it. They were like, oh, those are cool socks. I was like, yo. These are totally like this just because I, <laughs> I spilled paint on that. Yeah. And then I was just like, well, that's not half bad or whatever. But And I was wearing the socks up at the time, like just goofing around. I was right. like, I like this. Like the whole day that I wore them, different people pointing stuff out to me about them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm running with that. Cause I, I like this too. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, I do stuff and I like it when I get compliments on it. That always helps. Absolutely. <laughs> Com compliments helps a lot. Compliments helps everything. Now, look, look what's up there on the screen right now, brother? Uh, that is Deadpool or Wade Wilson, which would be his government name. Right. And, uh, full get up. Like, that's. What is that name? Who is it? Who is it? Uh, he's. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you would classify him in the universe because he's he kind of does his own thing. He's not necessarily a good guy, he's not necessarily a bad guy, but he's got a. He's got his own morality, if you will. There's stuff he does that doesn't believe in. But, right. I mean, by trade, the guy's a mercenary. Mercenary is always a good thing to be. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind being a mercenary. If I chose something to be, if, you know, I wasn't the family man that I am, I'd be a mercenary. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. So, mercenaries, I mean, shout out, you know, come on the show, talk about your mercenary lifestyle, and that'll be a good show. So, sorry to cut you off. Good, brother. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but, um, this, and also, as you know, and one of the reasons why I, once again, identify with it, you know, people can call you mercenary no matter what you do. Like if you just, people just kind of hire you. Right. And one thing is when I, when I did lyrics, I always had an affinity for doing wilder stuff and just different left field stuff. And people would hire me or get me to do, help them coming up with that. Cause some people would be like, oh, I don't even know how to make a song from this mindset. And right. I'd be like, man, like, or like, you know, I want to do this crazy thing here or there. And it'd be like, all right, well, why don't you either watch a movie on it or read a book or whatever? And people be like, what? And I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll just help you with it. Right. So I just kind of got known a little bit for cats that would come in and not necessarily in your music group or whatever. You might just know it, but might be like, all right, well, here's a couple crazy ideas. You could probably run with that. Or right. here's, a, yeah, yeah. here's the first part of a verse that I wrote about some... I don't know, so, mental thing. Or something. So musicians out there, if you want something a little to the left, something all, all the way over to the other side, come see my man Wade. I, hey, I'm I'm working for myself now. I'm not oh, doing, yeah, I'm not doing the murking. Is that, oh, you, this? What is this? It. This is one of my first videos that I ever did, and it's called Superman. And... Um, Look it, like he's flying. Yeah, that's, that was, I, that's what I did. Uh Basically, with with the idea of this came from, and it's even in the song, is that I was dating a girl this one time, and she said something to me about, you know, you think you can do, what makes you think you can do other stuff, and you can rap, and you can do this thing, and you know, you can do whatever, and I, and you know, just in a moment, a little intoxicated, maybe. Hey, hey, like, you had a little just, bit to drink. Yeah, I thought I was like, you what? I was like, I'm Superman. Yeah. Where, what are you gonna do? What is, how are you gonna tell me what to do? I'm super. That's right. She's trying to hate on your skate, hate on your, your wildness, man. <laughs> so I, I and I kept that and I, I started writing this song and it, it was totally never even supposed to be a real song. Right. It was like me goofing around in the studio one day with my cousin and then uh, someone he know came in while I was doing it. They was like, "What's that?" And I was like, oh, it's this goofy song making uh, Superman. I was like, it's not even. Good. They were like, dude, you should put that out. Oh, What's big that? shout to those guys. Uh, those are people I work with. Uh, Dirty Jersey oh, Fresh. We know Dirty Jersey Hill. Fresh. Yeah, yeah we got to get the other two down there. We get that. We got to have the whole. Well, that's my yeah. sticker. Oh yeah, that's we got just you the here. alternate color. Right. That's one of the alternate. Now who's colors. Dopeville USA? That's you. That no, that is um, my friend Dio. Oh, well, look at him up. so dope. Dio you know? so dope. We need to get him on then. Yeah, I'll tell Dio to come in? here. All right, yeah, cool, I'll cool. Definitely tell. So, Dio, here. look out for him next week. I don't know if he's coming next week. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> he may come. He may have something to do. Uh, this is another one of my influences. This, um, 
is this is actually oh, Stanley Cooper, yeah. yeah. Well, it's Clockwork Orange is the movie, and my upcoming mixtape is actually going to be called Clockwork Wade, and it's just like it's a spin on you know because in the movie they kind of brainwash him a little bit to right. be good, if you will, or whatever. And my statement on it is like we kind of get this, uh, like a lot of people give us this brainwash to be normal, right. you know. Like, I, and I tell people I don't know, you know, I haven't been around real young kids yet, but I always say like in the '80s and '90s, it always seemed like they were trying so hard to stamp out the individuality. That's right. Like it was like, like I mean, it's even still like some. That's why you know. I'm not going to get too far into the whole rap controversy thing, like Do what's it. good rap, what's Do bad it. rap. Do well, it. a lot of people say, like, what was going on in the 90s, that was, the, like, the, the, the golden the, era, like, that was hip hop, right? But the only problem that I have with that, and I mean, and it still happens now, it happens in every era, and you can see it, like, all right, way back in the days, Run DMC came out. Now, every rapper is wearing, feel like, I mean, Adidas, Adidas. Yep. right? Like, every rapper looks like this. Then in the 90s, it was... You know, it was either like Wu and hard rap like that, or it was like Jay Z and shiny rap, yep, kind of Maze, this kind of thing. Puff, yep. Yeah, and that's it. That's like, all right, everybody now is this. Everybody now is mm-hmm. like Jay Z. Everybody is like this thing. Well, you and you got your backpackers, Jay Z yeah. the backpackers. Yeah, and it's like you got to be this, you got to be that, and it's like, wow, there's like no room for individuality. It's like we're we're bring, we're getting clockwork into this. That's right. And it's like, and cats are falling into it. I know dudes that, you know. I mean, I'm from around the way. I know some people don't always think that, but I'm in it. It's just I'm in the skateboards and I got in the rock music, different stuff, and I went to school. So, so what? Oh, what school did you go to? Is it you from Trenton? You're one of the most eclectic dudes I ever met from Trenton <laughs> ever. I've never met somebody so, as cool like you. Like, don't take this the wrong way. You a cool dude, man. You just you don't I care. Really don't. Well, yeah. I'm from. I was actually born in Atlantic City. That's right. where I'm originally from. My mother was originally from a place down south, which I spent some time at. That's actually where I went to high school, was there. Right. I moved around a lot, but like, you know, it's one of those things I always feel like Jay, like I grew up in many places, but I'm Trenton's own. Like, even right. though I was actually born in AC, like, where I th- like, so I know so many people, Trenton, and I, and I, like, I'm saying, even when my mom and dad lived in different places, my dad was always in Trenton. Right. And I would always come here. My grandmother lived here on, you know, on that side of the family. And like, you know, I have a certain like different stuff. Like my first own place I had in Trenton. Right. Like a lot of the first things I ever did still happen. The first time I think I rode a bike on my yeah. own was in Trenton. Like, right. you know, different stuff that happened to me along my life. It's been Trenton. I mean. And uh, I do want to shout, if anybody actually is watching in North Carolina, I do want to shout you guys out. Chapel Hill. That's right. I know most people in Jersey like the Duke thing, but I live near Chapel Hill, so I can't. You know hey, what I mean? man, it's North like Carolina, a thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's the target. You know, you pick a side. I want to play the song. So right now, we're going to get into a song by my man Wade Wilson, eclectic dude. We go, I'm going to just keep talking while we're here. But, <laughs> so I, I just want to get you. I just got to shake your hand, man, because you, you, you loose, man. And oh, I, my man. term for loose means you just, you don't care. You just do whatever. Yeah. We're going to get into music. She told you that she thinks I'm a good guy? <laughs> no. She said something more like, I will fully love him tonight. What? <laughs> I know. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my world. Huh? My name is Wade Wilson. The flow. It kills them. I like bikes and skateboards. What's all the hate for? I like girls that like girls that like her and like her. She asked me, I concur. She said we can all leave. I'm like, word. I just play cool. Call me Cochise. Next. Cut. Uh, Bang. So we back, back live again. <laughs> so 
thing, man. So in the song, he said you like girls. Do you like girls? Yeah. <laughs> that was a simple answer right there. Yeah. All right, good. Makes the interview a lot easier for me. You know, a lot less stressful. Good. Yes. So, what's the next thing you got coming up, brother? Um. Well, like I said, the uh, the uh, Clockwork Wade is coming real soon. People have actually been waiting for that. They know me. Uh, also, um, I've been doing a lot of records with uh, Raymond Strife. Big shout to Raymond Strife. He's a local artist. Does a lot of stuff. He's a bit of a mentor. You yeah. know, you need another guy that's kind of as wild as you. Yeah, you, you know gotta have somebody. Yeah, you know? bounce off you, bounce yeah. ideas off of. We're like bad boys or something, like right. Martin Lawrence and Wilson. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. I, heck yeah, nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing to but, be. Um, yeah, and then um, Dreddy Mercury, she's up and coming producer. Everyone should be on the watch for. She does more than just my eclectic rap too. She does. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of stuff all the way across the board, uh, and um, hopefully somewhere in there, I will get to do my first EP. Like that one's going to be a little bit even more personal. It's going to be Revenge of the Nerd because I've always been a bit of a nerd. Right. Like you know, the I, nerds is cool now. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm glad we're getting that run finally. Yeah. Considering the Revenge of the Nerds came out shortly after maybe I was born. Yeah, yeah. It's Revenge taken of the that nerds long. wasn't cool then. It wasn't yeah. cool to be a nerd then. It, it, but it now, long. yeah, now yeah. nerds is cool. You see the NBA games, they all wear the big glasses. I'm like, man. This is this is funny because this is from my early days, too, because, um, you know, you could tell I was still, I feel like I was still holding on to that, trying to be yeah, the rappers that I grew up with as opposed to being myself at that stage. You, you know? definitely didn't look like yourself, man. Yeah. Now, this Wade Wilson's, the, this this more you, man. Yeah, I, I, feel I, I right. think so. Yeah. I think so. Absolutely. <laughs> so, what's, so you got, you can, ideally you want to do the EP. Yeah, I mean, I'm just taking my more of my time with that one because I I I produce, but it takes me forever to produce. Right, like like my homegirl Dreddy, she can bang something out while we're sitting there sometimes, and me it takes me like three three days. It's like, wait, did those drums sound right? Did right, right, right. And, oh man, my who was god, that guy? did you have fronts? Oh uh, yeah, I had to go. Oh to fronts, man, man. I just, this, oh, that was this Chapel Hill coming out in. I mean, that was the whole deal, man. Everybody was... Remember Wu had those? Yeah, yeah. Wu did that. Yeah, like, you know, I, I just... Like, I'm saying, you know, sometimes when you're younger, man, like, you know, like I tell people all the time, the first thing you do is you copy who you saw. Yeah, like, that's true. Like, I'm saying... Did you have money? Who is that guy, man? I don't even know that dude. Man, he got his hand out. Oh, sometimes man. you're still in the learning stage. Yeah, man. yeah. You Everybody, was in the learning stage then, man. Hey, hey, look, look. Everybody, almost everybody you like, especially musicians, right. had a stage that somebody wishes they would forget. Because I'm, right. yeah, I'm right. sure Dr. Dre wishes people would forget that he looked like yeah, yeah uh, when he had that tight suit on. Yeah, the, and the, I know what you're talking about. The slick back, long yeah, hair, yep, and all this. Yep. That, I'm what, sure. What group was that? You remember the name of that group? I don't know the name. Was somebody showed me what yeah, name. It was I, like, like you know, like an old head with records. It was like, oh, you think Dre and them was all Lee's heart? Bang! Show me the out. picture, of Dre. I was like, "Who is that?" I was like, "Is this a real record? Did you yeah. make this up?" It's nah, like, "No, nope, nope, nope. this is official." Like he was really on this, and you know, and he was doing the whole electronica, you know, sound. Right. So you know, now that was when I think I first started getting. Yeah, that's kind of where I needed. That's to almost be. like a tie dye shirt, man. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's good. That is skull and crossbones. If oh, you really, really looked at that, oh. at the, it is kind of like a tie dye yeah. thing, but it's all skull and crossbones. If you look at the whole, yeah. Shirt. So you still was hanging on just a little bit. You had it had a little edge to it. Yeah, not the typical I mean, skull and crossbones. Not the yeah. typical tie dye. You yeah. kind of meshed them together. Yeah. I was, I you know, I somebody I always liked is a rock uh, punk rock band called Misfits. They're also from Jersey. Oh actually. yeah, Misfits. They're from right here, ain't they? Yeah, uh, I think they're from further north. Though. All right, uh, I heard of Lodi. How far north is that? Oh, Real that's, far? That's a decent ride. Yeah. That's a decent ride. About well, forty-five. That's, yeah, that's where those guys are from. But uh, that those gloves that I had on—that's that was straight. I got that from Misfits almost. Like uh, that whole skull across. These are the people mm -hmm. I was telling you about. That's with me in right. that picture. That is Dreddy, Dreddy Mercury, and Ray Strife. Oh, Dreddy, it's cute. I am totally not getting into that. People always, <laughs> people always think I'm dating Dreddy. Like they always just like, yeah, it's not a bad thing. Not a bad I'm like, thing. I no, not not when she looks like that. Yeah, of yeah. course. But yeah, <laughs> it's just the thing. We have a professional relationship. You know, I don't like to get too into that, especially like it's not like I just got one beat from her. She's like 
hopefully going to work on albums and right, right. Stuff. She's your main person. <laughs> yeah, she's it's like, better off not not dealing with it like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, heck yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel you, brother, because you do that sometimes. Yeah. Plus, besides, if I made her mad, I get no beats. Yeah, you, you get know, no beats and no. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and the, yeah, double so, whammy, but, man. And, and then you know, like, that's I can't do that. <laughs> nah, then, no, you, look, you, you drive I mean, both ways. How, how, and and let's be honest. Consider she's my beat maker. If she was my girl. How quick would it be easy to make her mad? Yeah, you would. You would get pissed off all the time. <laughs> Anything. Man. You should never be write happy. the wrong song. Yeah, <laughs> you know it, what I mean. It, it, it's it's ruin your professional easy. relationship. <laughs> I hate this song. Is this about me? And then, no, it's not about you, baby. It's just a work of art. Yeah, 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 yeah I feel you. you know. So don't That's do it, man. Don't do it. As fine as she is, don't do it. And the only other thing I did want to bring about I bring up about that picture that that uh, we showed with me, Jody. Uh, somebody I know saw that picture and they were like, "You know what? It's like you guys are like that whole '80s art scene." Yeah. Like I was like, I was like, yeah. I was like, I could get that. I was like, as as like if we going with this, I was like, I'm doing my Basquiat impression. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. No, you, you know, one, you know, but. The cool really, hipster, man. You first trending hipster I've ever seen in my life. Well, that'll work. Yeah, he, that's that'll what work. you. That should be the name. When you come out with that mixtape, I want to be on the cover. Just I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just want to be pointing at you. You could something, man. We'll do it. it. It'll look like this. It'll look like we did the interview all over. Yeah, that'll work. That'll I work. think Incredible Coke would want to be. Yeah, yeah, he got to be a part <laughs> of it too. Part he, of that. Yeah. He so definitely nice. told me to bring you on. I said, who is this guy, man? I don't know this dude, man. I'm gonna bring him on. And I got you here, like, oh man, I'm glad you came, man. And was was uh -oh. is there a certain point in time I should do this? Or is yeah, this yeah, okay? I mean, I, feel okay. free, brother. This is one of the t-shirts. I like Wait. it. <laughs> it's almost like Willy Wonka, but it's Wade yeah. Wilson. Definite. I like it. I, I not trying to be funny. But people always say that to me, like I didn't realize that. Yeah, like I, I, I totally knew <laughs> this is what the Willy yeah. Wonka yeah. logo looks I, like. I, I certainly I hope so. I certainly hope but, so. And also, don't shut out. My oh boy, man! Actually, yeah, yo, these guys are supporting me. But the least I can do is like, you know, because Trav could have told me like, no, I don't have time to do your shirts, Wade. <laughs> like, he, 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 he really is that busy. But he was like, nah, man. Like, you know, we know each other a while and stuff. And actually, this is for you. Oh, man! So I, I look, I'm two t-shirts in two weeks, baby. I'm living the life. <laughs> I'm living the life. You got this. Get this. See, we getting the picture taken right now. So you, you talk while I get my picture oh. taken. And you know this. Oh, also, I'd like to shout out. Uh, who's not moving? Me? No, no, you move. Oh, I can't I can move. move. He can't. Yeah, you. Can. I can't okay. move. I can't move. <laughs> I just moved twice though. But I, I, I also like to shout out the guys at New Jersey Skate Shop. Nice. They've given me a hat and a shirt. Oh, they can't go wrong with that. Shout <laughs> out. Not this man. one. I oh. bought this one. I bought this one. Right. But like, they, did you buy the hat too? Stuff. This hat? Yeah, yeah. I bought this. They didn't. This is not. I'm sorry. Sorry guys, this isn't their hat. Oh, like, this is man. the hat oh, that they man. gave me. I just figured I looked nice. Yeah, you look, I, you look nice in my book, man. I mean, I don't really judge men, yeah. but if I just look at you, I wouldn't think you was homeless or nothing. <laughs> that's that's how I judge men. Like, do you look homeless? No, he don't look homeless. <laughs> he's he fine. Like he's gonna still. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. That's how you judge him. You know, one of those things, man. So, tell us about the Twitter following. Tell us about the crazy things you say on Twitter. Uh. I don't nah, even I know because we're not supposed. No. Oh yeah, there's certain. Yeah, some okay. don't tell about everything. <laughs> some things is off limits. But tell about the other no. little crazy thing. Um, what basically happens with me is, and this happens with Facebook, some, but on Twitter, I'm just known to just ramble off these. Uh, and some of them may not be PC thoughts, but it's really just like I'm the type of person that like I just like I feel that like the things that I say. Other people might even think of too, but no one wants to say it. Right. And I'll just come in and just like, you know, I, sometimes I am that guy. Like, I've been in a room where everyone thought a track was sounding good. And I'm like, dude, that sucks. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sound quality is awful. If you don't go remix this and everyone else was kind of, and then I always get afterwards, somebody's like, yeah, I didn't think it sounded good. Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Like, you was right about yeah, that. Yeah, it's kind of like, but like, you know. So Show me a little bit like that. <laughs> Show the producer. Yeah, yeah. He's. He said the stuff people be looking like, oh man, he, he right, but he just said it all wrong. <laughs> it's right, but it just sounded all wrong. That's what you and do too. It, it happens, man. And I mean, and and sometimes my thoughts are just, and you know, I don't want to 
go like it make it seem like I'm always going to the dark side. But one reason I look up to some of the people I look up is, you know, there's things that people like, you know, uh, there's things that people say like. I deal with depression and other things like that. I don't like to go into it long-winded necessarily all the time. But I do also, that's one of my big points. I like to point out to people that, one, black kids get depression. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's something true. that that's people true. and kids in, you know, urban areas get depression and a lot of people don't pay attention to it. Right. And, you know, um, I write about it and I say it. And some people say that I'm saying ugly stuff. But sometimes depression gives you ugly thoughts too, and right. I don't think you should just bottle them up necessarily just nah, you're because you're feeling to. a, like you know, just because you're feeling a little ugly doesn't mean that you know there's either a not a reason or b that you shouldn't express it. Right. You know, some classic movies that people think they're murderous or whatever, but the classic movies just because someone expressed an idea. Right. You know, that's right. Like, like Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah, <laughs> music and music and art. It's all the same thing. It's all about expression. And if you're feeling depressed, then get it out, man. And it probably helped you. It's probably therapeutic, would you say? Yeah, I, it is for me. That's yeah. one. That's one way I do it, you know. And if 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 you do, you might need professional help too. Don't yeah, you, don't, it, don't skip that step necessarily just because you're expressing yourself if you can. Yep. <laughs> and to Our the producer. other Wade Wilson, I, I'm sorry, but I, I'd like to just say sorry for the misunderstanding here. Uh, Trentonian TV has no uh, liability. We didn't. We're sorry. And sorry for the loss. I'm not. <laughs> Three inches.